What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to determine if a triangle is a right triangle. And in order to do that, all you need to do is plug in the three sides of your triangle into the Pythagorean theorem. So again, that's this guy right here. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, okay? Now, if you plug in your three numbers, your three side lengths into this Pythagorean theorem, and you get a balanced equation, then that means that the triangle is in fact a right triangle, right? Now, if you plug in those three same numbers into this equation and you don't get a balanced equation, you get an imbalanced equation, then that just means your triangle is not a right triangle, right? So let's try a couple examples here, starting with this one on the left. So remember, A and B are the two shorter sides of your triangle and C is the longest side. Okay, so here we're gonna plug in five and 11 for A and B, right? So we're gonna get five squared plus 11 squared is equal to the longest side, which is 12 squared, right? Five squared is 25, 11 squared is 121, and 12 squared is 144. Now 25 plus 121, that's equal to 146. So here we get, 146 is equal to 144, all right? That obviously doesn't make sense. So since we got an imbalanced equation here, that means this triangle up here is not a right triangle, all right? Let's try one more here. So uh, the three sides we have are eight, seven, and the square root of 113. So again, we just need to plug these in to the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to c squared, right? So for this triangle, what are our two short sides? Well, as you can see here, we have the square root of 113. Now, I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but we can get kind of close to it, right? So for instance, I know what the square root of 100 is. 100 is kind of close to 113, right? The square root of 100, I know that's equal to 10, right? And also, I know what the square root of 121 is, that's equal to 11, okay? So since 113 is somewhere between 100 and 121, that means the square root of 113 must be somewhere between 10 and 11, all right? So 10 point something, okay? So that means this bottom side would be the longest side, right? So the two shorter sides we have are eight and seven. So let's plug those in for A and B. So here we're gonna get eight squared, plus seven squared is equal to the longest side, which is the square root of 113, and that's squared, right? So we have to square this whole thing, okay? So here, eight squared is 64, seven squared is 49, and that's equal to the square root of 113 squared. Now, whenever you square a square root, they just cancel each other out. And all you're left with is the number that's inside of the square root, inside the radical. So 113, right? So we're gonna put just 113 right there. Now here, 64 plus 49, that's equal to 113. So here we get that 113 is equal to 113, right? So that's obviously a balanced equation. So that means this triangle right here is a right triangle and the right angle would go up here on top. And the reason that we know that is because the right angle is always on the opposite side of the longest side. So if the longest side, the hypotenuse is down here, that means the right angle is up here. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.